thing that motivates us. It's all about contributing to our well-being, to our wellness in life. And my opinion is that if we live a life with purpose, we're already halfway there. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Wednesdays with Wallace, a new, hopefully slightly different um, episode that I'm going to be putting on and we're going to have week by week. And it's going to be, oh, here she goes again. She gets on the video and then um, the nose goes mad. Okay, this is all about the silver economy. It's all about side hustles. It's all about creating income for yourself. And I'm going to be focusing on that on Wednesdays with Wallace from here on in because I've got a new website I'm putting up, which is wallacepatterson.com. And um, that's going to be all about helping you Begin a side hustle for yourself. Do something entrepreneurial for yourself. Um, create income for yourself. Add additional income to what you already have or what you're already doing. And today's title um, of the video is How to Benefit from the Silver Economy. That's a really good question. And when I thought about it and I thought about, wow, well, how do you benefit from the silver economy? And, of course, the obvious is, let me just check the time. I want to get this right so that we can, you know, go on and um, for a while and I don't have to keep looking up, checking the time. But how do you? How do we benefit from the silver economy? Well, I think there's a, a number of ways, of course, that we can benefit from the silver economy. And one of them is that the silver economy itself, which is all about, let me just explain a little bit, because so many people say to me, what do you mean the silver economy? Is that because we've got silver hair? Or because, you know, at a certain age you get silver hair? Um, yes and no. Yes, because it's something that's been adopted or, you know, used the term and the terminology, and, of course, it relates to people of a certain age. Yes, silver economy, um, which is all good, and it, but it is about ageing. It is about um, aiming at this paradigm shift, this phenomena that's happening at this time in our lives, and it's because we have more people on planet Earth, not just in a particular country or a state or wherever else, but on planet Earth. We have more people over 60 years of age or be, or becoming 60 plus than we've ever had and in proportion to the population and the population growth. So we have a huge, huge, huge amount of people, this huge, massive group of people. We won't go into all the statistics on it, but just suffice to say we have a massive amount of people who are 60 plus on the planet. Now, what's that mean? Well, it means a whole lot of things, but it certainly alters the the dynamics of the economies. And it has to. It has to because we've got people retiring. We've got in, in you know, developing countries, you've got ageing population and what that means and the ability for people to keep working and keep doing things and keep, you know, productive because uh, productivity is a big thing. And then you've got in the developed countries, you've got this ageing population who are people who have been working for a lot of years and they're now, you know, retiring or they want to retire or they're coming up to retirement age and um, and that's going to significantly alter the the dynamics of the economy as we see with, um, you know, pensions, social security or something. But we won't go into all that. I don't want to get into the, you know, paralysis of the analysis on it. I simply want to have this be really, really positive and show you where the opportunities are and how you can benefit. And there are a number of ways you can benefit. And of course, one of those is one of those is you can benefit from 
mm. the new technology and the things that are happening uh, with the ageing process, meaning health, well-being, mindfulness, all those areas are a huge growth area and are being developed and offer amazing opportunities for wellness and living better, living more, um, living longer even. Um, you know, because once upon a time I was on a podcast this morning talking to a lovely man in the US um, and um, in Philadelphia who's written a, a best-selling book um, around ageing. And, um, you know, when you think about it, I mean, we did. As people, we, you know, when I was younger, people, you know, by the time they got to 60, 65, and people didn't live a lot longer than that either. I mean, people didn't live to really old age as we know it now. I mean, we've got loads and loads of people living to over 100. I mean, isn't that amazing? I think that's absolutely fabulous. But what it means is it changes the dynamics and it changes um, what's available, what becomes available, and, and as well as, you know, technology and lots of other things get used in relation to that to, you know, bring that to fruition and, you know, make all that happen. So <clears throat> we do have people living longer. So people who had the mindset, we were talking about this this morning, this doctor and I, the people had the mindset that, you know, you'd retire, you had enough to live on comfortably, et cetera, et cetera. That's not the case anymore. You more than likely, more than likely, um, of course there's exceptions to the rule, but more than likely you won't have enough money to live on. You won't have enough money um, you'll have more years left than you will have money. So hence the opportunities for earning extra income that exist within the silver economy. So we'll talk about that in a minute, some of those opportunities and what they mean and why you can start them and why they're an opportunity and why they're a good opportunity for you um, because I'll explain what I think is a good opportunity or why I think something is a good opportunity. Um, and, you know, there's some obvious in there, but we'll I'll talk about that in a minute. But to begin with, I want to say that on the other side, there's a whole lot of other benefits. We're getting, um, we're getting uh, People developing, you know, better food, better food processes, better, better food, better, you know, better quality of food. Where we've got companies who are focusing on leisure and travel, and you know, making those things more compatible with people who are getting a little bit older. Hence, Viking cruises who do the, you know, the no casinos, no kids, um, which I like. Um, I'm not. I'm not a casino person and I certainly like, you know, a bit of peace and quiet when I'm travelling and and it's not that I don't like kids. I think it's great, but I'm just, you know, I'm like a lot of others my age. I'm over that. I don't particularly want to, you know, do that at my age. I want to have peace and quiet and I want to, you know, have a drink and mix with some other people, like-minded people. You know, I'm into those sorts of things. I like dinner parties and, you know, those. Not parties, but I like dinner parties and I like mixing with people and I like, you know, the opera and, I, you know, I like all those types of things and, you know, the cruises and all that offers some great entertainment and all that. So all of that area is a benefit to us. It's a benefit, okay? So that's one benefit um, of many, as I said you know, travel, um, upgraded travel, better, you know, better um, better thinking around that, better provisions, better, you know, more things that are more suitable put in place for us. <laughs> so moving on from that, we've got this whole area that I'm really interested in, which is this thing about earning money, entrepreneurship, making money, and being able to make money as we've, you know, as we age, as we get older. And it's not like this is young people and then this is old people. I mean, you progressively move into it. So it's a version of that gets adapted and adopted to the fact that 
you know, you're getting older. If we could, you know, perhaps pull ourselves up a little and look at it, you know, in a slightly different way. So we're still wanting to be that person or a version of, and we still, you know, we still want to be productive. We still want to be um, needed. We still want to have meaning to life. We still want to um, make money and, and make a difference. Um, and those are the things that be become important to anyone and most people as we age. So it's just a progressiveness, isn't it? It's a progressive total. You start off as this little kid, you progress to a young, you know, person, to a young adult, to an adult, and you progressively along the way. It doesn't mean that you get to a point where life becomes meaningless and, you know, you get forgotten and you want to sit over in the corner and feel like, um, you know, you, you've you forgotten odd thing hanging about um, we certainly don't want to be in that position and none of us want to feel like that so we want to keep doing the things that we did when we were younger we want to keep adding meaning to our lives and doing those things and we want to do them in ways that are you know beneficial to ourselves and beneficial to others, you know, perhaps can make some change. We'd like to think that we can leave, you know, a legacy or that we can, you know, be leave behind something of meaning. So most of us are in that position. Some of us aren't, some of us don't want that. And that's okay. Whatever you want, you want. Um, so, but for me, I'm here to talk about um, the more the money part of it, more what can you do? What can you do to earn some additional dollars? Well, there's lots of things. So let's just look at why that's important. What could you do to earn some extra money? And we'll be doing this each week. So I'm not trying to get it all in today. And by the way, hit the subscribe button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're building slowly, 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 but we are building. And um, But, you know, click on the link below and subscribe. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, uh, but please do that because it sure does help us. And it's helped building our, you know, subscriber base to something um, that will eventually become, can become impactful in the fact that we could have, you know, the numbers to make a bigger impact um, is what I'm saying. But we need the numbers for that, so please subscribe. A little bit of um, shameless self-promotion there. Um, so back to the silver economy and the opportunities. There are a lot of opportunities. Let's look at it like this. Let's say it's a pyramid. Let's say this is a pyramid and at the bottom is to enter this pyramid at the bottom no money no skills the next level you need maybe a little bit of experience uh, but you still don't need any money and at the top level here you might need depending on the opportunity this is in relation to the opportunity you might need to have gained some skills experience and there might be a little bit of you know, a few dollars to spend. But what I want to focus on is these, this bottom level, this entry level, which doesn't require that you have any specific skills. It doesn't require you have any specific experience on a, you know, a level of zero to 10. It's probably, you know, a two. You need to put in a bit of effort. It's not going to happen for nothing in so far as it's going to take some effort but it's not going to take money and it's not going to take um you know a whole lot of skill and a whole lot of experience and they're things like um let's have let's pull a couple of ideas out of it you could um you could become an online publisher you could write books and put them up on um places like amazon and then on to audible and other areas which is what I'm doing. Um, so I'm in that boat. Um, I always love writing, so um, I like so it fits, it just fits. Um, so pick something that fits. Um, and it may well be that 
you know, and with all this AI and all this other stuff available, we'll get to talk about that a little more down the line. As I said, I'm not going to try and cram it all into today. Um, you could do some, um, you know, social media for other people. That's not going to cost you any money or cost you anything. You could set up some social media for people. Um, you could write some content for, you know, people who are, um, or re if you have some skills with the computer, you could do some, you know, things around that. And they don't take a lot of skills. They just simply, and here's the thing, if you don't know something but you're keen, you think, oh, that, I, I wouldn't mind doing that. I don't know much about it or I don't know anything about it. There are, seriously, there are a squillion programs. There are squillion freebies out there people running free introductory courses free introductory sessions there are people running lots and lots and lots of freebies for you to learn to learn things and there's lots of videos on youtube for that as well so you don't have to be spending money don't think that you need a budget for this you need a big budget you don't you don't need the money for it. Um, you just need to put in a bit of time and effort. But you can, re pardon me, resource those things. So you could be adding, you could be adding some money to your coffers. And this is the sort of money that comes. I'm talking about things that pretty much come, you know, reasonably quickly. You could go online. You could be interested. Like I came across a girl a while ago, a young woman. And um, she was into, you know, makeup and all that sort of thing. Um, so what she did was she set herself up a website and she cre created a lot of affiliate links to the sorts of products that she really, really liked. And then she just, um, you know, she put that on her social media. She did a bit of promotion around that. And uh, every time somebody hit on one of those links uh, to purchase something, uh, she'd get some dollars for it. Now that's a really, really inexpensive way. Amazon. How do you? Where do you think all those products on Amazon come from? They come from people like you and I. They're coming from people who create affiliate links to manufacturers. It's you know manufacturers make it over here. You don't have to warehouse it. You don't have to do anything. You just create an affiliate link. You promote it. When it gets ordered and they ship it out, you earn some dollars from it. That what could be more simple than that? And that doesn't take any money. So. Take a look at affiliate marketing as well. It's termed by some people to be, you know, the area for the modern wealthy, and I think it is in some ways. I think that's absolutely true. You can be an affiliate marketer for a lot of people. Let them do all the legwork. Let them do all the, you know, putting it all together, whatever it is, whatever floats your boat. You, It might be about boats. Um, so it might be about, you know, camper vans it might be about you know going on holidays and travel well you know you can create a lot of links to people who provide tents burners stoves you know you know you know the drill you know what it is when you go camping what you need you could create affiliate links to a whole bunch of people you could promote it or promote your own little travel show do a podcast on it. All these things don't cost you anything, okay? I'm talking about the bottom tier. You don't have to have any specific skills. If you need to learn a little bit about some things, there's loads and loads of opportunities there for you to do that. So you can go off and, you know, learn some things and it doesn't cost you anything to do it and one thing will lead to another it's a bit like pinterest isn't it i love pinterest and i love that book that diane keaton brought out you know the house of pinterest bill her absolutely beautifully fabulously amazing house um you know that all the ideas for it came off pinterest and as she said she'd get on there and one thing would lead to another lead to another that's what happens with me i get on there and i'll pin something or look at something and then there'll be something else or something else and it just goes on and on and on and I've come across the most amazing people, amazing things, and my God, you know, what what, what an amazing world we live in. So I want to talk more about this as we go on, but I'm suggesting for this week that you look at 
affiliate marketing. And if you're keen on writing and you're keen on um, putting something up on a particular topic that you might have a buzz about, that might be that you, you know, around autism or around something else, um, go on and Google the, you know, top um, 20 topics or the top 20 books um, on Amazon or on Google or wherever and look at what the topics are and what people are writing about. And don't, here's my big tip, tip. Major tip, don't try and create something different. If there's already a market for it, then there's already a whole lot of people who want it. And if you repackage it just a little bit differently, you'll get your share of that. Alternatively, if you are doing or want to do what moi, I used to do for years and years, thinking I had to have, you know, an idea that nobody else had, that nobody else had thought of, um, which is a load of rubbish. If that is the case, then I can tell you now, it's a lot harder and there's a lot more hard work involved in you getting that out there and getting people to look at it because, Nobody knows about it. So if you're wanting to draw attention to it, it's a lot of hard work. If it's already got a lot of attention, a lot of eyes on it, be there. Repackage it, redo it, put your own thoughts and your own words and your own spin on it and um, and market it yourself. I hope that that was helpful to you. Tune in next week to Wednesdays with Wallace and we'll be talking more about how to benefit from the silver economy and some more of the opportunities, things that are out there. And over time, we'll get into a little bit more detail about, we'll pick out specifics and talk about it. But I'm trying to get at the moment some, you know, a variety of things in there that you can look at to give you some, um, you know, things to look at, like you get a choice and um, and then and if you want to drop me a line, if you want to send me an email, it's wallace at boldnotisle.com.au. Um, <clears throat> send me that or it will be soon, wallace at um, wallacepatterson.com. Um, but if you want to ask me a question, talk to me, um, send me something. Um, I'll be putting up some myself, some affiliate links for you to click on and things to help you with, and we'll be talking about that as we go on as well. But thank you for listening. Thank you for being here with me on what I'm now calling my podcast. Um, I used to simply just think about it as a bit of a chat on Wednesdays, but I'm now referring to it as my podcast. So thank you for being on Wednesdays with Wallace. And today's topic, how to benefit from the silver economy. Click on the link below and subscribe. Talk to you soon. See you next week. Thanks for listening. Live a fabulous life and have the most fabulous week, won't you? Talk to you soon. Bye for now.